Welcome back to another episode of Irumakun. Last time we had a nice little date, didn't we? With Ameri, but I don't think she really understands what a date really is because what Iruma basically said was, well, a date is kind of when a boy and a girl hangs out. And that is true to a certain extent, but there's an underlying romantic intent that he did not explain to her. Maybe he doesn't understand? I mean, uh, why wouldn't he understand? He probably knows, but he just kind of conveniently left it out so that Ameri thinks that whenever a boy and a girl is together and just hanging out platonically, it's a date. Man, I I really like Clara, but she's like, I don't see her as like a wife with like a romantic interest for Iruma, right? Amity is different. Clara is amazing, by the way. I love every scene Clara is in. She just gives me so much energy, and I the only thing that I can explain her as, she is soul healing. That's what she is. Amity, though. God damn, she's actually six foot two. God damn. God damn. I want a tall mommy girlfriend, but I'm gonna vicariously heal her through Iruma. <laughs> what do we even do? We read out the manga, the shoujo manga, because she doesn't know how to read Japanese, of course, because she's a demon, right? The fact that she was getting excited just over the shoujo pictures, that's kind of, that's a testament to how, I guess, how good the, I guess, Japanese style of shoujo uh, manga is, right? Because she's able to just be like, oh, Doki, Doki, just by reading the picture. But now, she has a translator. Iruma is reading it, and she's completely forgotten. Well, she hasn't. But I think she's like, she knows that he's a human. Only a human could read this, this secret relic, family relic text. Also, why is her family secret, like, like this, this like ancient family relic, shoujo manga? I, well, no, no, no. They, they mentioned a couple times before that only elite high ranked uh, demons can visit earth or humans, I guess, right? So, Amity also said that her dad is, like, the leader of, like, the, I guess, the police force here. I would imagine he's a pretty higher rank that he one day encountered a fucking weeb. Well, it would be a weeb, but it'd be, like, a, a shoujo weeb, right? And, and and just, like, confiscated all the all the books thinking it's important documentation that humans... It's, like, a important thing for humans or something, but little did he know it was actually just shoujo manga, and that's how she was able to keep it. But 300 plus volumes, she says... Iruma can definitely read, but, but, but I gotta be careful. We gotta keep reading and make sure he really does know human language. Or, you know, you gotta, you gotta be important about this, right? It's very convenient, but I think it's safe to say that the daughter of the leader of the police force is now on our side to protect us when the time comes for him to reveal that he is a human because it's gonna get out. The word's gonna get out that he will, he is a human. Not only, well, I think a turning, I was thinking like, because his blood can heal demons, I'm not sure. But this shouldn't be a public knowledge that if you are able to receive human blood that you heal because everybody here thinks that humans doesn't even exist. Everybody thinks that humans are like Santa Claus. They're like, you still believe in humans? Come on, get over it, right? Even though the national, like the school anthem is just about eating humans in the most fucked up way, right? So even if Iruma does heal somebody, I was thinking that would lead to the re like realization that, look, a demon just got healed by receiving Iruma's blood. He must be a de he must be a human. They wouldn't jump to that conclusion unless it's a really high elite ranking demon that already understands this mechanic, right? And then we go to talk about the dreams and resolves and ideals of Iruma. He doesn't have any. It's been previously stated by um, himself actually when he was thinking about Saburo because Saburo has ambitions of a main character and a shonen protagonist. He's he is the shonen protagonist that's not really the protagonist. But he's constantly saying, I will be Demon King, right? In front of Iruma. Iruma is like, wow, that's all that's amazing. You've got all these ambitions and goals. What what do I want to do, right? He's never had a time to think about that because if you guys let me know and I just realized his entire life was just to fucking struggle and survive and just work these shitty jobs to pay off his parents' debt, right? He never had a chance to actually think about these things, I like, guess. He was too busy with the grind, just doing monotonous work. But now that he has a life of luxury and comfort, I wonder if he's gonna be able to develop his own ambitions and goals, or if he'll just kind of stagnate. I, he won't, because, hey, come on, it's the main character. He's gonna figure out his own way. There's gonna be a turning point where he internalizes his own goals, ideals, ambitions, and turns it into a dream, right? It's funny, it's not funny, it's pretty cool how Amiri was able to dis like distinguish. Irma, those, that's not a dream, what you're talking about are ideals, right? And dreams are, I guess, also um, synonymous with ambitions. It's kind of interesting that there's some words from Earth that doesn't really exist in here. For example, friends, date. Talking about friends, I've talked about this before, but I think the fact that friends don't exist, and this show has carefully shown me everything that I pretty much need to know 
in the first episode, if not more. But I just kind of glanced over it because if a demon beats another, they become subservient to the other. It's almost as if every relationship is more master and servant or just acquaintances or rivals or just like peers. The concept of friendship doesn't exist. Also, I think in the entries... No, I shouldn't talk about that. Maybe I got spoiled from TikTok comments, but I was going to talk about... I'll talk it, I'll talk about it. Um, when the intro scene happens every time, like a recap, or even in the first episode, how he's like, but the demon throne is empty. I think they, didn't they say something like, the demon king is going to be from a foreign land, obviously Earth, Edoma, and that's why he was able to also get the ring that kind of prophesizes his you know, prophecy according to Sabro's scroll that he read, right? So everything is going according to plan, but there's a lot of things that was kind of just thrown at us in the first episode, and I was like, I was just enjoying them. I was just vibing, right? But I never really paid attention. I didn't really pay enough attention other than the idol girl of the newspaper. That just came up because it just seemed important that Edoma was in the front page, that very top, there was Sabro taking out a picture, and there just happened to be also the idol girl. Topic of the idol girl, who is she? The best guess I can really give, I don't really know, but anytime that we see the newspaper, we also see the blue gray hair girl with glasses that's just always pissed off. And the only thing that I can guess from that is, oh, is she actually the idol girl, idol girl but in disguise and she's just pissed off because Edoma just keeps constantly outranks her in the newspaper? That's the best guess I can make based off of what we've been given, right? But what did we do after that? No, that's pretty much it. Let's get on with the episode. What's your dream? To be happy? I don't know. He's never asked that question to himself. <laughs> that was too much? He just... Brain just exploded. He's like, I, I don't know. Totsugeki! Wait, 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 wait! Is he actually... Is she actually gonna drop kick in? Oh! Can you stop yourself? Good job, ass ass. That was quite the kick, though. What others want from him because of his previous life. But that's actually the perfect template, starting template for a main character in a shonen series. He can realize his own ambitions now. Because he's a blank template, always looking for somebody else. Oh! And, you know, this rolling attack? She did this before too, you know? And she <laughs> A bunch of mini Claire. Okay, I thought for a second a bunch of mini Claire's actually split, but she did that rolling attack before too. And if you look at her horns, it's like a ramp. Oh my god, it's another vending machine again! <laughs> She has so many vending machines! A chainsaw! She she just she has an infinite armory in her pouches, right? Koi! Flame sword! Oh <laughs> This is such a playful fight, but honestly, it could be a serious one, huh? Claire is nothing to joke about, man. We can start with that. Mm, and we're at rank one right now, meaning it's pretty bad. Uh, oh, Clara made it in with the fucking- What? How did she- How does she even have that in her pouch? Where the fuck does that even- I know where it comes from, but like- shh, In those tiny pouches? Totsugeki! I didn't- Of course, hide, hide the shoujo manga, yeah. How convenient that she- How convenient that, uh- they take Yuma away when they were just talking about his ambitions and dreams. I mean, nothing was gonna happen right there, right? He needs to think more. You wanted to eavesdrop so much, man. But he said he would never eavesdrop. She's hissing. Yes. But he's not serious yet. He needs some. Hmm? Oh! That might be something that gets him going. Get me going? What well, rank is she, though? Surely not Yod. No way, right? Oh, bodybuilding <laughs> in the middle of the court. Cyber's like, what the fuck are you talking about right now? Why are you always on top of my head? And those slippers always move, man. Now must charm him with thy feminine. <laughs> oh, how to become a demon king? Use your choke. Oh, what he's saying is kind of really epic, but to be translated into the context of what Clara wants to do. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna try to win him over, actually? <laughs> okay. Take what's back. But head over heels for Clara. Who, is she actually been accidentally gonna charm somebody? 
Oh. Uh, but like, there is no romantic intent here. She just wants to play with Iruma more. It's not like she loves him. There's nothing like that. She just happened to take seduction and charm. Oh, everybody's in here. Uh, you know, well, oh. <laughs> things that we can't really. What? <laughs> Sexiness. Glashes is there. Aiko's right behind. Make your prey pray. Goody. Oh, teach us the techniques. Sexy scope. Oh. 89%. Yeah, she just looks like a succubus. I don't know. Look at your underwear. Lashes. Unbelievable. We can't even. It's immeasurable. Eiko, it's okay. You'll get there. Lashes is un. Pretty good. But Lashes was... We don't even know. The girl that's always pissed off about the newspaper ranking. But let's see what Clara gets. Let's see what Clara gets. Clara... I, watch Clara get below 21. Because Clara... Nah, below... Two <laughs> percent. I don't want her... I mean, it could be pretty funny. I guess it could be a running gag if she tries to be more seductive. But... Posing. Push out your hips. Open your legs just a bit to be modest. Okay, let's see it, Clara. All right, try it on Iruma right now. Go, Kuri. Hey, hey! <laughs> what kind of pose is that? <laughs> no, no, the, the legs are open too much. It's not modest. It's, it's, it's. Touching. Body contact? Mm. Go in for a close-up! <laughs> a simple touch. <laughs> I love how confident she looked when she talked. She really reminds... It seems like this really reminds... Of, but this is like... Yeah, like... But you just want to play, you know? Your friend zones. And... That is... There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, they just want to be friends, but... Man, when Clara has scenes like that when she's reading and she's like, <laughs> she reminds me of Anya from Spike's family. <laughs> I, 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 good try. Perfume. She's gonna use way too much perfume. Oh no! Too much. The worst thing is she looks like she's dying right now too. Yeah, I too much perfume is like the worst thing ever, man. Clara, you okay? Oh, she looks. You don't need to seduce. You can just be you. Oh, it's her house. Her even her house has like a it's like a Patrick's Rock house, but it even has like rams, ram horns. Uh, what's up? Oh, she's so down today. Oh, we're actually just going full on into a musical out of nowhere. It's nice introduction to their family, though. Oh my god, this musical is just going so hard! Smoochy, smoochy, smooch! Hmm? But still the absence of dad. Wonder what happened. Maybe tragic past? Just missing? Did he die? <laughs> Woo! Good job. That came out of fucking nowhere, though. <laughs> I still need to re understand if there's anything romantic coming from Clara to Iruma. Because everything is in platonic, they just want to be friends, but let's see. Because she's trying all this just to get him back from Amity to play more, right? But it's just kind of turned into a misunderstanding where she's trying to seduce. <laughs> no, the pose is bad. It's cute, but it's... Oh my god. It's moving. <laughs> it's moving. Uh oh. Shaky things. Perfume. Oh, she's comboed up. Main pop. And the kid. Oh, God. This, this is a combo text straight out of the textbook, but maybe a little bit too literal. That's right. You can just dodge stuff. Oh, no. Cut it off. We're going to charm. Cut it. Cut it go. How do you feel about that kiss to the stomach? You knocked him out. Thank you so much. 
Aggie Sensei doesn't. It, maybe it'll come with time. I, I mean, th there's nothing wrong with it. You're still like, they're like what, 14 or something. You probably even haven't hit puberty yet. Like, just chill. You're fine the way you are. I mean, I feel bad for laughing now. <laughs> she did go a little bit too hard. <laughs> she read the textbook to a T way too much. Inuma! Yeah. <gasps> Worried about me? Yeah, we never know what she's gonna do, honestly. <gasps> wait, wait, these words might actually reach your heart though at this rate though. More than friends. Hold up. You see me as a girl? Yeah, yeah, you are a girl. But like, do you see me as like a, you know, a romantic intent? No, 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 no. I, you are a girl, but that's not what he... What? Just like... You might as well be asking, do you see him as a demon? Like, yes, but it's not the point. One day. Oh, Maybe? But I'm still on Team Amity, but... Oh, Clara! Oh, you got a doke! There was a charm there! Next episode? And we're gonna get that post credit scene? No, probably not, right? So... What a Clara episode. They actually dedicated an entire episode for Clara, and I have... No There's nothing wrong with that. I love it. Usually... If they were to do this for a character I didn't like, I'd consider it filler. And maybe this is considered filler. Because the story didn't really progress other than Iruma understanding that he wants to rank up now, right? Based off of what I made said in the beginning. And the middle part was basically everything else was just kind of like establishing Clara's new intent on their relationship with Iruma. Beyond friends, she really wants to see him as a girl. Not just a platonic relationship, not just as friends, but... Maybe something more. I, I feel like something might have been developing there. I'm not quite sure. Because she went with... Because the entire thing started off with... Lady Red Hair is taking Yuma away from me. I want to play with him. Come on, give him back, right? And then Sabra was like... Someone was taken... Something was taken from you. Then take it back with Ford. Use your sexy female charms. And Claire was like, huh? And then she went to class and she has no charm. That's not her fault. Everybody blooms at different times. Clara's just a pure innocent girl. She doesn't need those charms. Right? That's what makes her Clara. If she would change, it'd be out of character for her. But at the end, when she really did, just like ask, do you see me as a girl? But beyond that, and then she said, I'll make you fall head over heels for me. Does she really understand what she's saying? Like in love, not just like, you know, friends, but like, I'll make you fall head over heels for me. What the fuck happened to Aiko? <laughs> we forgot about Aiko. <laughs> She's a minor character. Uh, it's it says Clara first and forefront, right? I thought that I can't believe I got baited by Aiko from the first Tsukima on the first episode, man. <laughs> she'll be around. I'm sure she'll be just simping around for even a little bit more, but honestly, it's just Clara above everyone else for me right now. Although Amity is still there. And Amity. <sighs> Amity and Iruma. I put this episode got me thinking I'm Iru Iruma and Clara man. Oh dude. Soul healing episode. I love this. But we're gonna go to Iruma's ambitions. He's realized he wants to rank up. Maybe Asa's gonna give him a proposal plan. I don't really know. Also, rank up implies that we're evaluated how often? We don't know. It's based off last time it was based off of the familiar you summon plus the race course. Maybe there's other events and feats that you do. And the more merit that you have, the more you rank up. Based the owl was like, but like he can't even. He's not gonna get a badge. He's gonna get another fucking ring or something. I don't know. Probably not. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to bug push out my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys. Take care.